Now let's move on to Rachel Weiss's Melina Kostokov, aka the Iron Maiden. Now the Iron Maiden is usually a villain in the comics, so I don't know what route they're taking with this character. Like the, from the reviews I I I seen and watched, um, I haven't really heard much about her. Nobody's really said nothing about her. Like they've spoken about the cast overall, but her is just like yeah, she was good. So I don't really know too much. Nobody has really said too much. Maybe there's some spoilers involved that they don't want to get into. So they're not saying too much about her. I love Rachel Weisz. She was in the first two Mummy movies, if you don't know. And I've always thought she was a beautiful woman. I've always loved her. Always happy to see her when she pops up. So I can't wait to see what they've done with this uh, Iron Maiden character for the Black Widow movie. Now, on to David Harbour's Alexis Shostakov, a.k.a. Red Guardian. Now, the Red Guardian is a lot like uh, Captain America, you know. He's the Russian version of Captain America. He got the Russian version of the Super Soldier Serum. So, powers are similar, shields similar. It's just the Russian symbol. He's just the Russian symbol. As, like, Captain America is the American symbol. Now, I've heard nothing but glowing remarks about David Harbour's Red Guardian as well. Just like Yelena Belova. Like, him and Yelena Belova's characters have been talked about for the past couple of days as far as the reviewers. Like, the people who have loved these two characters. So, what I've been hearing about Red Guardian is that he's freaking hilarious. I heard that he's freaking hilarious. Sidebar, I heard that this movie has way too much jokes and that's a MCU problem that we'll talk about in another video. But from what I'm hearing, David Harbour was great as he usually always is. Red Guardian is great. His action scenes are great. His jokes are great. So that's that on that. He's just great. That's all we know about him.